Hey guys, what is going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. And today we're going to do a little cleaning of this 12 gauge shotgun. What we have here is the H&R Partner Pump Shotgun. It does share some parts compatibility with the uh, Remington 870. However, the receiver and the barrel are not compatible, but if you've ever disassembled a Remington 870 before, the process is not much different. Uh, I want to give a little shout out to Defense Dad, the Defense Dad channel for loaning us this shotgun. I'm going, to get a, I'm going to get it cleaned up. I'll get it back to him and I'll be sure to put a link to the Defense Dad channel channel at the end of the video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take you through all the cleaning supplies that we'll be using for the cleaning of this shotgun and just uh, bear with me guys. I've got some new lights that we're using in this video. Hopefully things will be a little bit easier to see. Some better detail will be showing up and uh, we'll go ahead and take you through it. So let's go and talk about the cleaning supplies in case you're kind of curious about what you're going to need. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, I want to send a little shout out to Aegis Gun Care. Um, Aegis Gun Care does send us cleaning products for the channel, and we like to use them. We've done several gun cleaning videos with the products, and they do work really, really good. What's cool about Aegis Gun Care is you can buy all-in-one cleaning kits that you'll use to get through the majority of your pistol and rifle cleaning needs. Now, there were a few extra parts that we did add to this, uh, this cleaning collection today uh, to get us through the cleaning that we're about to do. So, first of all, if you don't have one, it's not 100% necessary, but a center punch set does come in really handy to drive out those pins that we'll be pushing out of the receiver so we can get to the trigger pack. So if you don't have a punch set, you can get by with like a, like a pen or a pencil, and we'll talk about that when we get there. Um, also, we'll be using the Aegis Gun Care uh, Cleaner Solvent. This stuff works really, really good. Basically, you just spray it on, you let it sit for a couple minutes, you wipe it off. Then what you do is you do your scrubbing and cleaning, etc. And then after that, you apply a coat of lubricant, wipe it off, and you're basically all set to go. Or you can repeat this step a couple times if you want to. And we'll see how dirty the gun is, and that determines uh, what else we're going to do. I like to have a little barrel, bore light. These come in handy, or you can just use a, a flashlight if you want to. Uh, in the gun cleaning kit, we do get this cable that we'll use with a 12-gauge bore brush, not included, and a bore mop, not included in the kit, um, that we'll be using to pull through the barrel, and uh, you'll be using that to, to clean out the barrel and get it all taken care of. We're also going to be using some barrel patches, which are different from cotton patches, and these uh, absorb liquid and do a really good job of getting the barrel clean. I've also got some cotton patches that you can get from Aegis Gun Care. Um, we also have a little cleaning brush that we can assemble using the cleaning kit, which is really cool. Some cotton swabs. Um, also necessary, guys, I do recommend some, some gloves, rubber gloves, nitrile gloves, to keep the solvent, powder, and all the other crud out of your skin. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. So if there's something else to think of, I'll definitely let you guys know uh, before we get started. So let's have at it. Oh, and real quick, if you guys head over to um, AegisGunCare.com, uh, you can buy all these products that you see in this video. I'll put a link down below in the description box. If you click on that link, you'll be able to help out the channel. And if you use discount code TravisP11, I believe you're going to get 10% off your order. So make sure you head on over to Aegis Gun Care and get all of your cleaning supplies and needs uh, taken care of. Okay, so I usually have my rubber gloves on by now, but because we got to get a few smaller parts out of the magazine tube, we're just going to go ahead and hold off on that for now. So we'll get the gloves on here in a minute. Uh, you want to make sure you got yourself a roll of tape or a roll of masking tape. It'll make getting those pins out easy out of the receiver. Uh, you do want to make sure you have yourself at least a 330 seconds pin punch, but you can get by with just a sharpened pencil if you want to, at least enough to get the uh, pen started. And you can probably just pull the pin out by, your, by using your fingers. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So we're just going to go ahead and unscrew the little magazine tube cap here. You want to make sure that you have the end pushed all the way back. That'll make it easy for us to get the barrel out. It comes right off. Whoa, it's under pressure. We just launched it. Okay, so keep that in mind. And uh, all right, magazine tube spring is right here. We'll push that off to the side. We will hit that with a little bit of lubricant. Uh, I don't know if we're going to use any of the solvent on it. It is a degreaser, so the spring is already pretty dry, but we'll keep that handy. All right, and then the cap, just go ahead and just set that right there. Good to go. Okay, and then let's see here. Why don't we go ahead and get the barrel out? So all you have to do is just pull forward. The barrel's going to come right off. Again, the finish on this is super duper thin. I mean, it really scratches easily, and we will get the barrel cleaned out here in just a little bit. Set the barrel off to the side. And then in here, you've got a plug, and as you tip it forward, let's see if we can get that to come out. We're going to push from the rear of the magazine tube and see what's in here. Um, you're gonna feel like a cylinder that's inside of this magazine tube. There's a plastic cylinder. You have to rotate it, I believe, counterclockwise and eventually it will come out. You can see that little dimple right there. We have to line up the cap with the uh, plug here and it will come right out. There you go. Okay, so check that out. There's a little channel right there in the plug and you got that dimple right there. Okay, it's gonna come right out and yeah, we are all good. Okay, that all right, is so here we go. So we will go ahead and just spray the cap on both sides with some of the degreaser, some of the cleaner solvent. 
Okay, just go and let that sit for just a minute or two. Uh, instead of spraying down the barrel and getting the solvent all over the place, I'm just gonna spray a little bit on a patch here and then just go ahead and wipe the barrel off. This is basically gonna function as a degreaser, a cleaner. It'll take off all that powder residue. We're gonna let that soak in and then we're gonna hit it with a dry patch and that's going to allow us to remove any of the residue that the degreaser has acted upon. Make sure you go ahead and wipe off this little notch right here that I'll take care of. Looks good. Now this does not have any choke tubes that we need to remove, so that's not gonna be an issue. And you can already see what this is uh, pulling off of here. Okay, it is fairly dirty. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for, oh, probably about, oh, about two minutes or so. We'll hit it with a dry patch, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a lubricant. Uh, actually, you know what, while that's sitting, why don't we go ahead and prep for the uh, barrel cleaning here. All right, now go ahead and just wipe off the cap. We'll get the uh, cleaner off of it, the solvent. You wanna make sure that it is basically completely dry before you apply any lubricant to it. And this does have a little sling swivel down here in the bottom that rotates. It does have a washer in it, so it's not gonna lock into place. It's not gonna come out, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you can have some Q-tips ready to go for fine detail work if necessary. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a dry patch and just remove any remaining solvent, get in there and really get that looking good, okay? All right, it's been a couple minutes now. The barrel is pretty dry, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit it with a dry patch, just wipe down all the surface areas. This will pick up the remainder of any solvent that's left, but this stuff just basically dissolves and it just leaves behind basically a little bit of dirt, a little bit of residue that you can clean off on it. Now what we're gonna do for the spring is we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of lubricant on the spring, a couple drops of lube on there, and just go ahead and wipe the spring off, just kind of get it uh, cleaned off a little bit. You can kind of go all the way around it if you want to. Go ahead and just spray a spritz or two of your solvent gun cleaner on a on your patch there and just go ahead and wipe off this little plug, this little cartridge stop here. And remember, we'll, we'll put this back in when we're done with it, but when you get it all cleaned off, it's got a little bit of powder residue on it, not a big deal. Um, I'm not going to apply any lubricant to this. I don't think it's really necessary. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do here is go ahead and just spray some solvent on the barrel patch here shotgun barrel patch. And we're gonna pull this through probably about three or four times and really get that barrel nice and coated. So I'm just using my little pull through cable. I'm not using any kind of handle or anything. It's not a rifled barrel, so it's gonna go right through. Just kind of pull it through probably three or four times. So what you see me doing right here, just go ahead and do that, you know, probably three or four times. And then I'm gonna let that solvent sit for a couple minutes and really soak into the barrel. Then we're gonna push the, uh, we're gonna pull the barrel brush through it. Then we're gonna hit it with some lubricant. So, we're gonna do this a few more times and then we will be right back. All right, I'm gonna put a couple little spritzes of the uh, solvent on the barrel brush there, bore brush. And we're just gonna go ahead and pull it from the back to the front probably about three or four times. So what I'm gonna do here, what you see on camera, you guys do the same about three or four times, you're gonna be in good shape. Now, if you're using a traditional cleaning rod, not a problem, you can push that rod through a couple times. But uh, again, I'm using this uh, sweet, sweet Aegis Gun Care Cleaning Products Kit and it works great. So I'm gonna do this about three, four more times and we'll be right back. All right, now for the next step, I'm gonna take some of the Aegis lubricant. We're gonna go ahead and put that all over a couple cotton patches. I'm sorry, a couple shotgun patches. Again, those are a little bit different. And uh, we're gonna pull this through maybe about five or six times. We're gonna let that soak in and then we're gonna go ahead and run a dry patch through it. And uh, let's go ahead and show you how that's gonna work. Again, if you have a cleaning rod, you just go ahead and push it through. Me, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it through. And we still, we won't lubricate the barrel until we put everything back together. So don't worry about rushing to get the lube put on the barrel. Okay, now I'll go ahead and just pull it through. Either way, it'll get it nice and cleaned up. So do that about four or five times. Let that sit for just a couple minutes. All right, we're gonna do the same. And then we will return. Anytime. All right, so I'm not gonna take the, the barrel or the camera off the stand and show you, but the barrel is nice and smooth inside. It looks really, really good. We've got three, uh, two or three dry shotgun barrel patches here that we're gonna pull through. Remember, these are a little bit different. These are almost like a tissue paper and uh, they're just very absorbent and they're a little bit different. They're not quite as rough as a traditional cotton patch. So if you do get shotgun barrel patches, they're gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna pull this through about four or five times again. And then after that, we're gonna pull the mop through and the barrel is gonna be all set to go and we can start working on that receiver, the trigger group, the bolt. Okay, now the final step in the uh, preparation of the barrel. Go ahead and take your barrel mop, put a couple drops of lubricant on there. There you go, just kind of move it on there a little bit so that the barrel mop's just slightly damp. A little bit goes a long way when it comes to the uh, Aegis lubricant. And we're gonna pull this through probably uh, three or four times, and after that your barrel is gonna be all set to go.
All right, guys, and now to clean out the magazine tube. There's just a couple little drops of lubricant on here, and then I hit it with a paper towel, so it's basically dry. You really do want to keep your ammunition and your oil separate from one another, but again, this is basically dry, but we're just going to kind of pull any of the muck out of the end here that might be in the uh, magazine tube. So it's just going to go down from the top here. We should be able to do this just fine. Okay, push down any parts that might be interfering with uh, getting something to go through that magazine tube here. Okay, we're just going to go ahead. You can see how I have it set up. I'm just basically pulling it right through the barrel. Or sorry, right through the magazine tube. I'm just going to repeat this about two or three times again. And uh, it should get any rust that's in there or bust out any, any particles or grit that's in there. All right, so next step now, go ahead and take your, uh, let's see, 330 seconds pin punch, if I'm not mistaken. And we're just going to take the roll of tape and set it up so that if we push down on the pins, the pins are just going to drop right into the little roll of tape in this way that stuff is out of the way. So we're going to be pushing from the left side of the firearm out. So that's go ahead and press. Okay, that rear one just popped right out of there. Okay, the front one just takes a little more force and it pops out. We're just going to go ahead and pull it if we can here. Get a little bit of finicky force. There we go. And there we go. Got those pins out. Go ahead and set those off to the side. Go ahead and just slowly pull your trigger group out of the bottom and we'll go ahead and just wipe this off and give it just a general lubrication. You don't want to get this super wet with lube. You don't have to. There's just a few key points that we want to touch with some oil. Okay, hang tight. Okay, go ahead and spray the pins with some solvent. Let's let those soak up a little bit. We'll re-oil them. We're not gonna hit the uh, trigger group with any solvent. Instead, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and just take a brush, toothbrush, and just go ahead and gently brush off any debris that might be on there. This is really, actually, is fairly clean. Looks pretty good for the most part. Yeah, if you have any kind of grass that gets in here, or any kind of dirt, you just wanna kind of brush all that stuff off. Looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just take a patch and just go ahead and put a couple drops of lubricant on it and just basically get that worked in the patch really well. We're just gonna wipe everything down real quick so it has a protective coat and it'll take off any muck or grime that might be in there. And there's just a few minor uh, rotating points that we want to uh, get lubricated. All right, now we're going to put a little drop of lubricant where we can see the left side where there's all these little pins. There you go. <laughs> Sorry guys, there's some, some pins right here that you can see. We're just gonna go ahead and just put a drop of lubricant on each one of those pins. Okay, and then just go ahead and wipe off the excess. It's just the pin, the lubricant's gonna seep down into those pins so that they function properly. Again, you don't want this thing wet, but you do want it uh, to be lubricated. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hit the left side. Any place that you see any little pins that might be in the trigger group, just go ahead and drop a, put yourself a drop of oil in there. There we go, on the back here. Okay, and then go ahead and wipe off the excess. There we go, she's good to go. All right, go ahead and just use a Q-tip here. There we go. Catch the left side of it. Any little edges that don't have any lubricant on to make sure they've got just a little tiny bit of oil on them. Ain't gonna hurt nothing and this stuff will dry out over time. So there we go. All right, go ahead and set your trigger pack off to the side here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess solvent from those pins that we pulled out of the receiver. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. There we go. And wipe that off. Those are nice and dry. All right, drop a lubricant on a patch and go ahead and just lubricate up those pins and then just set the pins off to the side. And we'll finally move on to the uh, bolt and the carrier. Okay, so you can see how we're holding the shotgun right now. I'm zoomed in on this so you guys can see what we're doing. So we do have a little bar right here. I can't remember if it's called like a cartridge stop or uh, something along those lines. There's a little bar right here that has a bit of a spring to it and you can feel it when you press in there. It's kind of springy, it's got some resistance. You're gonna pull forward. Well, you're not gonna be able to pull that bolt out. It's not gonna come out, okay? It's currently being stuck on this little bar right here. So all you have to do is just press in on this little bar while you're pulling forward on the handguard, and you should have no trouble getting the, uh, the bolt and everything to come out. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and pull forward a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my left finger and pull, and then pull a little bit more. So you should allow the, uh, there we go, the bolt to, to go past it. So again, I've just pressed down on it, and this is gonna, you'll feel the resistance give up, and then you can go ahead and pull off your remainder of your firearm. There we go. All right, why don't we go ahead and get the uh, receiver cleaned out here next, and uh, we will go from there. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and spray everything down here with our solvent. There we go. Spray the left side of it, spray the top. Uh, go ahead and grab yourself a couple patches here. Just go ahead and wipe it all over. There you go. Okay, now on the inside, uh, you know, if it's really dirty, you're gonna wanna just keep putting some patches in there and just keep wiping it out until it comes out clean. So the inside of the receiver here, just go through with patches. 
really get in there and get it scrubbed really well. You're probably gonna use a lot of patches to do so, and okay, that's fine. Next up in the process, we're going to basically take a couple drops of oil. We're gonna wipe off every single metal surface of the gun inside and outside of the receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, with this um, Aegis Gun Care Lubricant. You wipe it on, you let it sit for a couple minutes, and then if there's any excess oil, you just go ahead and wipe it off with a dry patch, and you are basically good to go. Your gun's gonna be protected, lubricated. Now, okay, bolt and bolt carrier, spray it off. Go ahead and separate the two. There you go. Spray it off with your solvent. We're gonna let this sit for about two or three minutes, and then we will come right back. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and take your brush, and you can scrub it down if you need to. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with the, uh, the toothbrush here just to get some of that muck and grime off of it. We're just gonna wipe it off with a couple patches here in just a moment. And again, we're gonna get this thing completely dried off before we re-lubricate it. And where you see a lot of the wear, a lot of the finish coming off, those are your metal to metal contact points. Those are those places where you want to definitely focus on uh, lubrication, just so you know. But we're gonna want the entire thing covered in just a very, very light coat of oil uh, before we reassemble and put it all back together. All right, so it's been about uh, two or three minutes and this stuff is definitely absorbed in there. Let's go ahead and wipe it off and this is gonna take off all that muck and grime. We're gonna get the inside of the bolt wiped out and you can see how it's nice and clean now. It looks really good. We want this thing basically dry so you don't want any of that solvent left in there. Wipe off the front. Again, this part's gonna be pretty dirty where your primers get struck. Looks nice. Again, this is super dry now, super clean. I could probably go over it a couple times if we wanted to. There we go, but uh, there's really not much else coming off of it. That is nice and clean. Again, it helps that it's such a thin finish. It really just absorbs whatever you spray on it. All right, couple drops of oil on the patch as usual. Just go ahead and wipe everything down. Make sure it's got the lubricant on there. Again, your Aegis Gun Care uh, lubricant, it's going to not leave a really thick coating, a real slimy coating of lubricant. It's gonna be just thin, just enough to protect the parts to uh, ensure proper function. There we go. Okay, go ahead and just continue with that patch and just wipe everything off. And you're gonna see the oil be applied and you're gonna see the change in the, the way that the, the finish looks. You can tell that it's definitely got something on there. Probably gonna hit this with one more patch here and then just set it off to the side. Very low maintenance, very easy to, to clean. Just get in there and wipe it all out. You're actually getting a little bit of lubricant in there, which is not a bad thing. Again, we're not getting too much in there. We will apply a little bit more to this channel right here when we uh, do reassembly. Go ahead and take your two parts and two pieces and put them back together. Okay, foreign cleaning, super simple. Go ahead and just spray a little bit of solvent down this tube right here. We're gonna get this all wiped out and cleaned out. Go ahead and spray off these little extractor arms here. Here we go, okay. All right, now we can let that sit for a few minutes and soak in. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, let's go ahead and wipe off the excess with a clean patch and we'll wipe out the inside of the tube. We're gonna basically Push a cleaning rod through here to get this little tube cleaned out, so don't worry about that. And we'll put just a little, little bit of lubricant in there also, as it does glide over the uh, magazine tube. Now, by the way, just in case I didn't mention it, you know, things like this uh, shotgun jag and these, you know, bristle brushes and, and stuff like that, you can buy these parts separately if you want to. Usually it's about two or three dollars for one piece, or you can buy like an all-in-one kit that has everything in there. So, you know, this large 12 gauge jag, this is something you could pick up at a sporting goods store if um, he just doesn't happen to offer it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just put some lubricant on the patch, just kind of work it in the cloth a little bit. And then just go ahead and clean that tube out. Let's go in there and get it all cleaned out. Go ahead and give it a good scrub. And we're just gonna do this as a little one shot, one step, because this is just gonna ride over that uh, magazine tube. So we wanna make sure everything's nice and smooth for operation. I can't wait to see what this thing's gonna be like once we get it all done. And uh, cause the gun was pretty crusty and pretty dry. There we go. All right, that is nice and clean. Let's get some fresh patches going here and go ahead and wipe off these uh, extractor arms or fore end arms here. All right, so go ahead and just put a couple drops of lube on the patch there and go ahead and wipe off those arms. Again, the finish is it's not bad. It's, it's holding up well for what it is, an inexpensive uh, shotgun. It's decent. Okay, it looks good. Go ahead and wipe off the outside here. Uh, you could you know, wipe this off if you want to. If it's dirty, you could just use maybe like a damp uh, you know, washcloth or something on the fore end here, but you don't really have to worry about it. Again, most guys will probably never clean this gun anyway if they get it. All right, and now we may begin the process of reassembly. Let's do it. All right, so before we begin this procedure, because this part can be kind of frustrating, what we'll basically be doing is we're gonna be putting your fore end over your magazine tube. And then when you pull it back together, these two little arms are gonna go back into the receiver. The problem is that you're gonna run in, you're gonna feel it stop, okay? 
So what you're gonna be running into are these little tiny tabs. There's a tab right there and there's a tab right there. When you're pulling in, you're gonna to have to be able to press those two tabs against the sides of the receiver and that's gonna take the tension off so that the arms can go through. All right, sounds confusing, it's really not. So essentially once, you, once we slide it over, you're gonna be able to feel this little spring tab on this side and this side. You have to push those against the wall of the receiver in order to allow those bars to pass through. So we're gonna to try to take you through this in real time because this is probably the most frustrating part of the reassembly. So go ahead and take the shotgun and set it as such, okay? Go ahead and take your, let's see where I put it. Bottom of your bolt, make sure you have this little rounded part with a notch cut out of it facing the back. It's basically gonna sit in this little tray right here, okay? Now again, this part, you're just gonna have to kind of finagle it to get it to go. Uh, go and take your bolt with the firing pin facing forward, set it on top of the bottom of the bolt here. So again, keeping it all together. Again, you're gonna feel it get a little resistance there. And then holding on to it, what I'm gonna do is take my hands the best way I can here. It's a little bit frustrating because it is a little bit tricky. Okay, so what I did is, is I just kind of pulled a little bit on one side, pushed on one tab till it locked back, pushed on the other side till it locked back. Now we can go ahead and uh, put the bolt in here. Okay, go ahead and stop at this point and we'll go on to our next step. Okay, so if we did this properly, we can go ahead and push it all the way back in. And if we pull forward, it should not come out. All right, so for reassembly, make sure you've got the forend all the way forward so your bolt's out of the way. Uh, just go ahead and take your trigger group. If anything's blocking the holes right now, sometimes those little bars can slide back. All you have to do is use a punch to push them back forward. You should be able to see clean all the way through the holes of the receiver to see all the way through. And you wanna make sure that your holes here align when we put the two pins back in. So go ahead and put your trigger group back into place. And you wanna make sure that the uh, holes all align. So we'll go ahead and put the big pin in first. There we go. Just snapped right in there. Okay, now the little pin. I can see through there. It's nice and clean. There right. So go ahead and take your small pin. Go ahead and just push it back in there also. Kind of had to pull down a little bit on the uh, on the trigger uh, guard right here to get that to go. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit stuck there. Oh, and I can see there's a little tiny bit of the uh, the bar that's blocking the hole on this side right here. So we're going to take our punch and we're going to just click that back into place. There we go. And now the pin should just go right through. There we go. So, uh, you know, obviously we're working at a weird angle because we're doing a demonstration video, but go ahead and take your, your little, uh, what, cartridge stop, I guess we call it. Uh, you wanna make sure you've got this open end and it's gonna have to go back in the barrel like we showed you before, or back into the uh, magazine tube like we showed you before. You're gonna have to push it in and then kind of turn it a little bit. It'll clear that little indentation right there in the magazine tube. All right, then go ahead and take your spring and go ahead and push your spring back in there. Be careful because you're gonna need a little bit of spring pressure as we saw in the uh, beginning part of the video. Gonna put that in the bloopers reel, I think, and that's just gonna kind of sit. Right. So I went ahead and slid the forearm back a little bit. I did have to press the button down here in order to release the forearm so it would move back a little bit, get that bolt out of the way just a smidge here. You're not gonna totally pump the shotgun, but kind of keep it so it's maybe about, about an eighth open right there. And then go ahead, just take your barrel and put that over your spring, put that over your magazine tube, and we'll get that in the receiver here. Again, it's always an awkward angle when I'm doing these videos. There we go. Okay. And it's just gonna just lock right back into place. She's all good to go. There will be a little bit of spring tension that uh, sometimes these barrels put on these uh, little caps. Now I did wipe off this uh, magazine tube cap with some oil. I don't think I showed that earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and put that spring back in there and just go ahead and screw it on. Okay, so we're gonna do a dry fire, but before we do that, go ahead and verify that your magazine tube is empty. Physically press your finger down there. There are no shot shells in the magazine tube. All right, go ahead and put your finger down the barrel. The barrel is perfectly clear. Okay, go and pull forward, lock it into place. Everything should be nice and tight. Now go ahead and press this uh, release button right here. That'll allow you to pump it a couple times. That is so smooth now, it's crazy. It's awesome. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and dry fire real quick. One time, let's go ahead and take the uh, safety off. There we go. Okay, good deal. Go ahead and pump it once. Okay, dry fire one more time. And you are good to go. 
So there you go, guys. That is the process of cleaning the H&R uh, Partner Pump Shotgun. If you guys like what you see, make sure that you like and subscribe. I got a ton of cleaning videos on my channel. And again, shout out to Aegis uh, Gun Care for sending the gun cleaning products that you saw in this video. Again, last time I'm going to tell you, click on that link down there. It'll take you right to the website. It's an affiliate link, and that will help out the channel with every purchase that you make. Use the discount code TravisP11, and you guys can save 10% off your order. So uh, that's it, guys. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate your patience. I want you to um, have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.